Hi, yeah, it's me again. I'm Eli Kachian, and today we will discuss about uh, steel uh, tactical games. And exactly what I prepared today, it's discuss about um, sometimes uh, it's called breaking point of the game or turning point of the game. So sometimes when your game goes, I'm not saying game goes wrong, uh, but let's say game goes not exactly as you expected. And you're trying to take the game uh, by your way. You're trying to uh, take back um, the lead of the game, the control of the game. And sometimes to to do that, um, you must represent um, really um, strong reasons, strong moves, which will take the uh, game absolutely the other direction. And today I'm going to um, show you guys uh, some of my games. The first game uh, I played back to 1995. I played in Armenia Championship, and uh, my opponent was um, Grandmaster Ashak Petrosian, uh, who would be very, very well known uh, as a current uh, coach of um, Armenian national team, and he led the team twice to get Olympic title. So he's been very well known as a theoretician, um, as a pretty much one of the best uh, opening specialists around the world. So I played him as a white. And um, I, I remember that game, uh, I needed to win uh, in order to be in top four, top five um, uh, players of that championship. So I'm white reversing uh, Ashak Petrosian. Well, I like this line. It's called Rosalimo line in uh, Sicilian defense. Um, some people believe it's pretty much um calm line but it's not exactly true because in many lines uh bishop b5 in many positions uh bishop b5 will lead uh to create to get a pretty much in balanced position so that's not a really calm line which uh white will guarantee to have position with slightly edge or um, this kind of stuff so bishop b5 check in fact here as a black player by myself um I'm playing uh, most of the times knight c6, trying to met bishop b5 uh, check with knight uh, c6. It's about to get a position of imbalance, especially if uh, with, um, let's say, imbalance power structure, because most of the times white will take on c6, bc, BC and that will give black uh, uh, double pawns by c5, but for the other side, it will give black a uh, pair of the bishops. Uh, but bishop d7 still remain the main line. Bishop d7. One of the best way to play um, versus bishop d7 is to create a type of position from Marotze bind. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.